Hi, I'm Ronnie from Ronnie's Garage. Today we're going to have a technical seminar covering the GM Hydromatic four-speed transmission used in the Silver Clouds and the early post-war cars. We're going to service it and we're going to take the valve body, the little control unit, apart and I'm going to discuss how it works. I'll, sh I'll do some air checks and I'll show you how things kind of work inside. And this is the throttle valve and normally what happens with this one when you've got a problem in the throttle valve section, this piston will be stuck. So it'll require a lot more pressure down this passage to push it back than it's supposed to. So that, that'll cause shifting problems. Common source of leaks out the side, remember that housing cover went over here, so you've got a seal around here, plus you've got a shaft here, so there's, a, there's usually a cork or an O-ring in here. You pull out this pin, there's an O-ring here, and this one is a kind of a primitive lip seal and it was it's on backwards. One more sign that whoever worked on it. The, the, the silicone in there is I've never seen that to be honest with you. That's the first time I've seen one on a valve body. Uh, yeah they, they didn't even put the spring washers on right. Oh and there's only one. Oh no there they are. The way this seal is supposed to go you see it's got a it's it has kind of a lip right there in the center and it's flat here. This flat part is supposed to go against the housing. The lip's supposed to seal against this shaft. So the way they had it was not right. And then it has two um, Belleville washers, are called, because they're, they're bell-shaped, kind of. And there's two different sizes. So the small one goes on there, and then the cup faces each other, so it's like a spring then. And then this one is supposed to fit around that to help give it more pressure. And it goes this way, with the flat side out kind of tricky when you put it together but it doesn't work this way and that's probably part of the reason there was so much oil on that side of the transmission because just so you know on the automatic transmissions when it's not running those 12 quarts or when it's running the 12 quarts the majority of it is up in that big housing that's spinning that fills up with a lot of fluid when you turn the car off that gradually drains back so that makes the level inside the rest of the transmission go higher. So when it gets up to this point is when it'll start leaking out. But when it's running, you never get a leak out of here because the fluid's way down below. If you look at the dipstick, it's about that much from the bottom of the pan. So it's, there's not that much in there when it's running. Which is real common on automatic transmissions to where they will not leak when you drive them every day. But if you let it set for a week or two, all of a sudden you get a big puddle of red fluid and that's because the torque converter's drained back and it's gone to a higher level. All right, that's that part of the valve body. Now we'll get into this one. If somebody wants to grab one of those sheets with all the valves in it, we can we can start pointing them out. There are some uh, numbers and letters in here. This one says low, so this is probably low gear. EXH exhaust. There you go. Yeah. And then this uh, what are, there's three four right there. So that that's indicating the uh, different gears that that part of the valve body works. I'll use Scotch Bright and a solvent tank and an air gun. And I'll, I'll gradually, uh, because this is a fine machine finish, and that's supposed to just torque down and be pretty much seal good against the. Uh, it doesn't have to seal against leaking out, obviously, but it's supposed to hold the pressure. The screw is not very tight. That rubber seal there is probably not original, right? Yeah. No. Oh, you mean? That, no, no, that's yeah. that one's been replaced, but incorrectly. Correct. So we'll keep this top top. This up here. Where is it? That's number 42. This valve we're pulling off right now is a 3-2 timing valve body. So 3-2 means it's downshifting. And the timing valve, what it does, remember that 2-3 shift is the one where four things happen at once? 
It has to time it just right. So in other words, you can't have one come off too soon and one come on too soon because you know if, if you're if you got a clutch pack which is inside the drum that's applied and you put the band on on that same drum, boom, instantly you burn those clutches because something's got to give and there's not enough pressure there. Now you'll see there's there's garbage on here. Not to worry, this is not abnormal. Um, blue silicone is, but we don't see any. There's some of that right there. It's still from the back of this. That is bad stuff. It works good for sealing leaks, but it's not supposed to be in any hydraulic. But you haven't found anything that's, I mean, other than the silicone that's really wrong yet, have you? That, the linkage. No, but I mean, and this. Not yet. Nothing that's really wrong, no. Valves look okay. Well, they're not, I haven't found any stuck ones, no. Yeah. yeah. But I might not. But I think the combination of the silicone and that linkage right away is going to cause some grief which we really wouldn't have found unless we took it apart. More, more garbage. This is kind of gritty, what I'm finding in here right now. You see, well, yet another valve. These plates are really hard to mix up. The screws are in different positions, so you think I'm willy-nilly in here, and I'm not. It's not a... Well, all the passages do is tie things, right? Correct. But the fluid's pretty much always going to be there, so it's not a big time delay. It's just being redirected. Right, and the timing is they just don't want to burn up the clutches like I mentioned, so they got to make sure that band doesn't apply until the clutches are off, so it has another passage that lets that valve know, it lets the rest of the valve body know. Okay. I still... Progress. The screw's a bit damaged here. I'll show you when I get it off. That's an art, driving those old cars. And I'm not an artist yet. There was an awesome article in the early post-war society newsletter about fluids used in transmissions and differentials on the old cars. The old cars use a lot of yellow metals, uh, brass, bronze, that kind of stuff. And new oils, the government's making them change all the oils, and they attack that stuff. So you really have to watch, if you've got a pre-war car especially, even our type and and Mark VI, that's what it was about. And old Daimlers. And old Daimlers, that's right. And Daimler owners. <laughs> <laughs> the oil didn't attack the owner. They attacked the casing and all those stuff. All the yellow metal, too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, here we go. This is, that's a pretty complicated one. See all those springs in there? Remember, keep them in place. And being of the small brain type like I am, I always like to reconfirm, oh yeah, that's top. Because once you start taking screws off and doing this and doing that, you can forget. Um, and the, the picture, pictures are important. Okay. There's one. Stuck. Okay, now this one, it takes a lot to move. So that one was kind of stuck. It really looks, you can even see there's garbage on it from me pulling it out. You see that valve, it looks, it, it does, it should look real, it should look just perfectly smooth and shiny like that, not all s scratched and stuff. Mm. There's a lot of garbage in there. What about the inside of the housing? Well, see, that's where you got to be really careful. The steel, I don't have a problem with scotch-briding the steel. The aluminum, 
will start going away. And you don't want, and this thing has just got some garbage in it. It's really gritty, gritty feeling. So I think we're finding more and more things to cause the thing not to shift properly. There's another valve. And make sure if you've got a stuck valve, you don't grab it with pliers or anything. It's going to damage it. You've got to be real careful with this stuff. Be patient. Work it, work it. This valve has got a lot of stuff on it, too, a lot of scratches and, and areas that look like it's been hanging out a while. But this one was pretty tight. I had to use pliers to pull it out. You saw that. This one right here, this one should just push out. There we go. And, oh no, which way did it come out? Well, most of them have different size. These are called glands, or lands. That's what they're, lands. So you can't put it in backwards. See, one's bigger than the other. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't put it in the wrong way. But don't always rely on that. Make sure you pay attention. You can even see some sludge built up inside this right there. 